we're going to look at this in the Lenovo, which also is a IBM X3550 Model 3 diagnostic panel, light pass. Um, it's got a couple of issues. One, it says it's, it, it should have 32 gigs of memory, but it's only registering 24. And it's not, re it's not uh, recognizing any of the hard drives. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've got power supplies plugged in, a dual power supply. And we'll get the cover off this baby and see what we got. What's going on here? The memory has to go in a specific order, exactly. And if you read the chart here, it's got the layout for the DIMMs right there. So you just do your homework, take a look in there. Here it'll tell you, on this one it's uh, microprocessor 1, it slots 369 258 And slot 2 is the reciprocal, which will be 12, 15, 18, 11, 14, 17, 10, 13, and 16. So you got to do it in that order. So that's the first thing I checked. And of course, uh, it was not correct. So I was already ahead of you guys. I jumped ahead. And uh, you see the memory? This is 9. 1. 9, 10, 18. Also, a lot of guys are looking for the LEDs for the memory error. And on these units, the memory error is... The memory error lights are actually in these latches themselves. If there's a memory error, these will light up. There's no separate LEDs. It's built into those latches, the retainers for the RAM. Pretty interesting. Two CPUs. All right, so let's uh, let's plug a monitor in and see what we got here. This is a light, light pass diagnostics. I got no lights right now, so it's not powered up yet. And it had a memory, a mem problem, mem light. So let's check this out. What's interesting with these units are the terrific, durable, incredible units. The front light here. When you first power it up, it goes very fast. In about 30, 40 seconds, it starts to go slow. Once it goes slow, it means it's ready to be powered up. Okay, so we got the down keyboard down going here. This shows all the disks of your installation are gone. But this is an unexpected message. Power off and restart and check your uh, cable and remove it and show that all disks are present. It doesn't recognize the disks at all. So what we're going to do first, I want to check if the memory is registering properly. And then we'll go to the uh, uh, F1. System information. Processor memory. 32760. So it registers the 32 gigs of memory, which is a good thing. And that's because it went in the wrong order. Something as simple as that. Uh, the guy who sent it to me said it had 24 gigs of memory. And couldn't get it to work. So when I first powered up, I had a, a light pass diagnostic light for uh, both memory and board, DSD and memory. So once I replaced the memory in the first slot, which they're very specific about, no problem. All right, so let's go and see what's going on with this, this drive file. 
All right, guys, so I had to go back and recut this because the fans are just too noisy. Couldn't hear a thing. So this unit was not recognizing the hard drives. So I pulled out this back plane. This is the original back plane. It goes here. Four drives. You can expand it for more drives. you got to take out the CD driver. Wrong. Um, so this just gets the uh, SATA connector from the RAID controller. And it gets a battery connector from the spare battery for the RAID backup. So this way if you lose, for any reason, if you get a crash or a power shortage, um, the RAID card with the battery backup will take everything out of memory and put it on disks, disk so you don't lose anything. So I ordered one of these for six dollars and change. It's an original part. And uh, I, I checked on the diagnostics. It showed that the RAID controller was working properly and it even said backplane, so I ordered the backplane. Give it a try. I should get that uh, probably the next day or so. As soon as I get it, we'll install it and check it out. So it takes that. It takes this uh, this uh, SATA uh, SAS connector, sorry, SAS SCSI, and it takes this power supply battery backup. It takes a little. I think there's a little data connector that's uh, little guy that uh, also talks to the RAID card. So we'll do that and see what happens from there. Then uh, our sticky, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade just uh, four core, four thread, but no hyper threading and no turbo. And the ones I took out of the other machines that, would, that I replaced with a six core 12 thread, I can put in here now. So anyway, we'll do that too. All right, so the drama continues. We'll be back. Once this thing is up and running with Windows, you can put it in the acoustic mode, and the fans will be really fun. All right, guys. We'll see you in a couple of days. Probably see you tomorrow. Got some more machines to work on. Out.